Alrighty. DRG, what's going on? Emergency video. Today's video is going to be very, very short. I have to update you on the college picks for this weekend. Um, so, so here's what happened, guys. And here's why I'm making this video. I had a couple of cryptocurrency transactions that I found out are a four to five day transition period to where it's going to show up. Four to five day? Four to five day? Are you kidding me? Four to five days? I thought crypto was supposed to be uh, quick, right? I thought it was supposed to be quick. Shit should be overnight. God damn it. Anyway, um, so here's what I did, guys. I had some money in the account. We went perfect last weekend, so we had a lot of money left over. I did already take out a big chunk at 650 but that's irrelevant. We have the Bills play that we also threw $100 at the door on. You guys saw that in the last video. So I really only had like maybe 140 bucks, And that's not enough because like I do every weekend, we usually do the two big teasers or the one big teaser. You know, five, 600. And eventually, after a couple weeks go by, we'll be dropping like, you know, up to $5,000 on these. Um, so I just simply need to bring this video out. Now, here's the thing. If you guys are okay with your money situation and your account's exactly how you want it, do exactly what I said. Do do the teasers. Do those two teasers. Exactly what I said in the final picks video. But I just need to be transparent. I need to let you know what I'm doing this weekend because of this blemish. So I ended up doing just a bunch of parlays. I know. Can you believe that? You're like, what an idiot. What an idiot parlays really you couldn't just pick pick a couple of spreads just to bet on they're conservative alternate spreads guys a lot of money lines stuff like that so already gave you guys the seven leg parlay so this is what i dropped a hundred dollars on a seven legger at plus 431 this is what i took kansas state alternate spread minus two and a half northwestern money line Wisconsin, alternate spread minus 2.5. Iowa State, plus 10.5, alternate spread. West Virginia at home, minus 5.5, alternate spread. Oklahoma State, money line. Baylor, plus 14.5, alternate spread. 100 to win, 430. 531 payout. So that's where we're trying to make up the, uh, the chunk this weekend for not having our normal 5, 600 to use. And then I had like another thirty dollars in the account. I'm like, well, I might as well send it out on something. I'd pretty much did the same thing. K State, Northwestern, Wisconsin, all money line. Iowa State plus seven and a half. Mountaineers minus nine and a half. A little more ballsy on the Mountaineers. And 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 guys, like I said in the other video, West Virginia is going to blow the brakes off of Kansas. They should cover. Uh, they should cover twenty. They should cover twenty. I just don't get that risky. Oklahoma State money line and the same Baylor 14 and a half. So that's what I did, guys. I just have the the parlays and of course that live bet we did on the Bills. We uh, incorporated Kansas State money line and West Virginia minus five and a half into that one. So as long as we get these parlays done, we'll still make our big chunk this weekend, and then uh, and then we'll have plenty of dough to work with. For Sunday, for NFL, for week one. I'm super excited. We already are one for one on NFL with the Bills live bet. Hopefully we can keep college and NFL completely perfect for the whole entire year. Yes, I think it's possible. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to make this video just to let you guys know what I did, what happened, and what's up. So when I show you guys the transaction history come Monday or Tuesday, you'll be like, wait. You said to do the teasers, and now you ended up doing these parlays. You're not even telling us what you're doing. Scammer. Scumbag. Um, yeah. So there you go. If you want to do the parlays, do them. But I don't recommend it. I recommend doing the teasers. I just don't have my money. It's the only reason why this week is a little bit different. Hopefully it works out. I think it will. I think it will. Um, and the Sunday video, oh yeah, right, you guys are like, well, when are the NFL picks coming? It's already Friday night. They'll be out tomorrow. I'll film the video a little bit later, and, um, just kind of a, uh, just kind of a heads up. I think people are a little bit too excited 
for NFL this year. I think some people are going to go too heavy on week one. I really love college, and I do very well in NFL too, especially as the year goes on and things become more predictable. But I think we're actually going to go light. I think we're actually going to tiptoe into NFL. We're going to keep crushing college, but I think the right thing to do this year is to tiptoe into NFL. I think people are too excited. I think sports gambling has become too big of an industry. There's too many suspect things that happen in NFL, and I think it's smart. Although we are crazy on this channel, although we will make life-changing money, I think the right thing to do is to tiptoe NFL, NFL, and then hammer it next week. So hopefully a good day college. Maybe we'll make a little sugar on top, a few hundred bucks on NFL, maybe 200, 300 there. And then we'll just simply move on to next week to where we make our first big deep breath, cross your fingers type thing. Um, maybe our first $1,000 wager of the year. And then it's off to the races. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you are new, make sure you do subscribe. Hit the like button if you're enjoying this content. And share it with your friends so they can make money too. Very, very simple. Let's all have fun and have a great year. I'll see you guys in the next video. NFL pick soon. See you then.